Hey guys, welcome to a very special edition of College Kitchen. Today we are doing something we've never done before. We are throwing a party. First thing always when you start cooking is when you have your cutting board, you ever notice when it slips around, you have to put wet towels. You can get these towels anywhere, you wet these, put them underneath the board, and it doesn't move and you have a safe, nice cutting surface. So. Never have we done that on this show. <laughs> so first Great. we have a half a cucumber. Okay. Okay, so I want you to peel that, All right, I can and then it. I want you to cut it in half and just kind of sort of take the seeds out. Because those seeds have a lot of water, added water, and you don't okay. want the water because it'll Change water down the flavor. flavor. Okay, yes. cool, cool. So I'm going to take the tomato. Alrighty. And then what you do is if you want to take the core out, but you don't want to waste a lot of the actual flesh of it, you just yep. put it in, hold your thumb down. Oh, man. You just turn it. <laughs> wow. It's, oh, it's just that easy. And you come out and you have all the tomato. That is cool. Okay, and you waste nothing, and now you can use the whole thing. That is very good. And that's it. Now you pop it in the blender. Great. Cut, Cut it off. lengthwise. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> this is actually an English cucumber, which is genetically made not to have as many seeds. So, okay. as wow. you can see, they cost, it costs like 50 cents more at the store, but um, as you can see, there's barely any seeds in the middle. You know, otherwise, a regular cucumber would be okay. littered with seeds. So, you actually could just cut that up. Let's see how that looks. Actually, it looks fine. Yeah. How about you just um, cut that into little pieces and we'll add it to the blender. Okay, sounds good. Great. And what are you gonna do in the meantime? I'm gonna actually show you a really cool way to cut a pepper. What I do is I just cut it down, Okay. All right? And then I cut it that way. Okay. And then you have this, which is all usable. And then you just make an incision, all right? And then you just look the other side and you just cut. And you end up with an entire pepper. That is all so done delicious. with no seeds. You don't have to rip anything out, and you end up with... Wow. Yeah. And it's he super easy. Like all you have to do is like that. <laughs> and that's it. And all you end up with is this amount of scrap and the seeds, which you would throw away anyway. That's intense. Yeah, it's that's awesome. awesome. It's really awesome. So I'm going to top so, these in yeah. here. Yep. Uh, we're going to add a couple shallots, two to three whole shallots. Um, and we also have what we call pimentos, which is a pickled, actually a roasted and pickled pepper from Spain. We're going to add a, a whole jar. They're not very strong. Oh, it's so pretty. I know. Now we're just going to add a little bit of tomato juice. Uh, just to get it spun, that's about one cup. We're going to add about 30 ounces in total. Okay. And then we're just going to blend this up. That's a great sound. Yeah. All right, so we let it blend for about 30 seconds. Right at the last 10 seconds or so. Gonna add oh, yeah. a couple of splashes of Tabasco. That's really cool. And a little bit of red wine vinegar. Okay. Okay. Then a couple of cracks of pepper. Okay. A little bit of olive oil for emulsion. <laughs> then a little bit more tomate. And we're good. Wow, that was cool. That, yeah, I know. That was. That was intense. It smells so good. It does. When you pull something out with a ladle, yeah. um, usually you notice that you have to like kind of catch it when it's going to drip all and like kind of get it and it gets all over the place. If you just dip it back in, it stops the drip. Oh my god. Okay, can I ask for you the most part. For the most part. Obviously, I can't defy gravity, but can if, I, if it's dripping, 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 dripping. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Where do you get all these? Tips? And you just hold it. I mean, you are like a wealth of knowledge when it comes to like like little things like you know like this and that that make life so much easier. Where do you get these tips? Just listening. 
Just gotta listen. That's pretty, you make it sound really listen. easy. That's it, that's it, it's just with anything. Yeah. So this is a two ounce ladle, this is four ounces of soup. It's a pretty hefty bit with a little bit of bread. I think that's a, you know, so you don't really need to make that much even for eight people. That's uh, $2 maybe worth of produce. So it's a really cheap, inexpensive thing if you're on a budget. So we got the gazpacho plated. What I like to do is just at the last minute, since it is a Spanish thing, I like to do just a little drizzle of olive oil. Oh, wow. Last, okay. All right, Doug, what can you tell us about quinoa? This is a toasted grain. It's very cheap, very nourishing, high, high, high in protein. Um, and it's absolutely wonderful. And you can mix it with sweet stuff. You can mix it with mint, basil. Very cool. Uh, cilantro, whatever you want. Or you can just keep it plain. You cook it two to one. So that means for every one part of quinoa, you use two parts of water. Very, so very cool. So I got cool. a cup of quinoa. Okay. Pop it in a bowl. Yep. I just want to rinse a little bit of starch off. Um, so then I have two cups of water. Bring it up to a boil, bring it down to a simmer, cover it with aluminum foil, keep it on low for about 10 minutes. You got perfectly fluffy quinoa. While our quinoa is on the stove and cooking, Absolutely. we're moving on to the salmon now, yes. okay? Okay. So What's... this is going to be slow roasted salmon, so all you're going to do is take a small little uh, little pallet knife okay. and uh, squeeze a little butter on there. Sure. Kind of get it on the bottom. Sure. Put a nice dollop and then just spread it on out. All right. Sounds good. There you go. Um, at the same time, I'm going to start to pull this out. You want to get just go ahead and smear it. I'm smearing away. Just right, smearing. Okay. I'll do the butter. There you go. <laughs> wow. wow. Just like a wow. peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hey, but that's, it's, yeah, that's a professional smear. Right. It's, it's, there you go. Okay. All right. You so now okay. you're going to season with a little salt. Okay, cool. That I can do. There you go. High five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now the fish is um, somewhat, we brought it down to temperature. We had it out for about uh, 10 minutes um, just to let the temperature um, come down. So okay. when we put it in the oven, it's not just such an intense heat. Okay. So now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to repeat the process. Oh, I'm going to do the butter part. Okay. okay. <laughs> the thing about the butter is people see a lot of butter and they say, oh my God, it's a lot of butter. I'm not worrying about the fat. The fat will melt off. But what I want is the solids. The solids give the flavor. That's where the flavor of butter comes from. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go like this. So don't worry. Most of this butter will be right in the bottom of the pan and you can just drain it off. All you're looking for is the yeah. flavor. Right. Look at that. Look at that. This go. is art. It's me creating art. All right. I'm gonna hit a little, little All right. Okay. And I'm just going to go like this a little bit of shallot. Cool. Okay. And how about you pop this in the oven? All right. So this oven is at 300 degrees. Okay. It's a little lower than what you would want to cook it at. But okay. It's going to cool. cook so slowly. Um, and it's only going to take about six to seven minutes. So we have the quinoa on the stove, the salmon is in the oven, it is time to cut some cabbage. It is. Does anyone else want to cut some cabbage? I do. So all you want to do is just break it down. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And you just want to, just like that. <laughs> and now, the, oh. now when you cut, uh -huh. you want to use a, a four slice, because you know how when you, if you go like this, a knife is not going to cut you because the knife doesn't, it slices, it doesn't uh, blunt cut. So, so you want to put it flat, uh -huh. and then you start slicing. So then? Um, sort of, you just want to kind of... With all your digits cut. intact. And, and what are we doing with the cabbage once it's uh, blood free and cut? Um, so what we're going to do is we got maple syrup, okay, and we got red wine vinegar. Oh, okay. So it's going to be two parts maple syrup to okay. one part uh, vinegar. Okay, cool. So I like to measure things in, in parts instead of cups. Yeah. Not everybody has cups, and if you don't, you're like, oh, I can't do that recipe. If you just make it in parts, it makes a lot. Better. It's it's simple. It's yeah. simple. Gina, you have successfully done it for sure. Thank you. That is an accomplishment. You want to put that right in there? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> We got the cabbage on up to a boil. Okay. I want to do something called burnt cinnamon. It's a good thing for a seasonality, <laughs> even if it's in the summertime. Okay, cool. Um, so all you do, take a lighter, torch, whatever you got, yep. and you just burn it. 
and all of a sudden you're gonna start to smell a candle, but it's really just the cinnamon. And and that like gives off flavor. Yeah. Oh, it gives off incredible flavor. Wow. And it smells like a it fall. smells it smells just like a candle. It smells really good though, like really good. So now we're just gonna add that right to there. Cool. And then it has that aroma. Um, and actually, when your guests come in, if it's still cooking, um, it's especially in a dorm room, it's super rad. So while we have the cabbage going, what do you have next for us? So we got some blistered tomatoes for the quinoa. Okay, the quinoa. Yes. All right, I almost so forgot about it. Help me out sure. Okay. Cool. All right. Wow, quinoa. What you want to do is get a little canola oil, not olive oil, because olive oil will burn. So we just drizzle just literally a half a teaspoon right on top, give them a little shake, and I want you to put them in to a really, really hot pan, basically the highest you can get it to. Um, you don't want to add salt because the salt will pull the moisture out and therefore not let them blister, which is what you want. Um, so go ahead and add just them. Just drop them in. Just drop them in. Great. So right now, you're going to notice as soon as I hear that, they start to boil, the water starts to boil inside of the tomato. Um, and the skin gets a blistered oh texture, God, therefore so blistered tomatoes. Weird. So, as you turn it, they have little Popeye spots almost, and they um, actually have an amazing, amazing flavor. Once you get a desired amount, um, I usually only go for about 45 seconds, then I season it because it's already obtained sear that I wanted, and now I can add the salt because there's not really much water to pull out. So just so give it a couple cool. more, couple just more pulls. Swish it yeah. around. Just, just a little swish. All right, I want you to hit it with a little pepper first, like two or three grinds. Great, awesome. Ooh. Okay. Give it a little more now hit it with uh, two pinches of salt. Okay. Okay. Great. One more. Great. Give it a little twisty, twisty. Okay. Just gonna add a little half a teaspoon more of canola oil. Okay. Do I swish it around? Just a little more okay. swish. And now add it to the plate. Great. Those are blistered tomatoes. That is so cool. That's it. I cooked. So we have come a long way, but there's still a ways to go. Uh, next up, I think, is an ingredient to the quinoa that we haven't actually ever used on the show, and that would be cauliflower. It's the bro cousin of broccoli. It is the cousin of broccoli, yeah. Yes. So what, what about cauliflower uh, appeals to you for this dish? Uh, the amount of the savoriness, but okay. still has a little sweetness when you you know do a certain technique. Right. It's easy. It's cheap. Yeah. It's everywhere. It's always in season. You know, yeah. I mean, it's always I, around. Always I see around. it, but I never eat it. Right. I never eat it. It's one of those but, things that I just it doesn't occur. Well, I'm going to show you a way to do it. Okay. Caesar, would you like to yeah. take the reins? Awesome. Okay. Cool. So first thing I want to show you, Caesar, is how to hold a knife. Okay. Um, some people don't even know how to hold. Some people hold like this, that, weird ways. <laughs> you want to take three fingers, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. oh. Put them in. Right there, then grip around, and that's how you hold a secure knife. Got it. Just like that. Awesome. Wow. I've never yep. felt like that before. So I'm gonna hold this that's cool. piece in half and give you that piece. Mm -hmm. So basically, if this was a whole one, we would just go around just like this. As you can see, wow. we would just be going around just like that, just like a skeleton. Sometimes you don't even need your knife. Sometimes you can just break it up first, and then we just give a little cut every now and then. You want to break it up to even pieces. And this goes directly in the quinoa after you cook it up? After we roast it, we're just going to put it right in the quinoa, okay. fold it in, and it's going to be a nice earthiness, yet sweetness, yet uh, if you don't like broccoli, you know, just, just give it a try. <laughs> just give it a try. It doesn't really matter what size they are as long as they're consistent. Right now, as you're cutting, you should be having your pan warming up. So that's the key to a lot of things, you know, especially in this type of kitchen. It's a, um, it's a residential kitchen, so it's not going to have all the powerfulness, you know, that an that, uh, industrial kitchen would have. So you want to preheat a lot um, while you're cooking. You don't want to go over there and then turn it on and then be like, ah, oh, you know, it's not strong enough, it's not powerful enough. You want to think ahead um, so you can actually have the power to uh, cook things properly. And that's, uh, that's it for the prep, and then we're going to take it to the stove, roast it, salt, oil, done. All right, so now we got the cabbage. The sugar's starting to come down. I want to just be more gentle with it. So once you start to see the bubble, the sugar will start to get to a temperature that will actually create a syrup. I mean, now you just want to watch it. I actually reserved a little bit of the syrup. It looks, it should be the consistency of a uh, loose cough syrup. And you're just going to reserve some of it for plating as a sauce. And once it's at a consistency that you feel is good and the flavor is right and it's balanced, we're just going to pull it off and reserve it for plating. So we are at the final stages of the quinoa. Yep. Okay, so where do we do next? So now we're going to add a little bit of mint. Now we're just going to add a few tomatoes. Okay. So just add it right in. Cool. Everything we've been making so far is definitely something where, like I've noticed the colors are really intense. Yeah, super They're sharp. All very, super sharp. It's awesome. It's super awesome. sharp. So now um, I'm going to add a little lemon. Super sharp. 
Yeah. You just put oh. your fingers a little bit far apart, but not big enough to um, let the seed go through. Yep. And you get it, and you can catch all the seed. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. I want you to take that spoon and start to mix them all up. Uh, do you want to do that? Sure. Sure. Okay. Cool. And while she's doing that, I'm going to add a little bit of cauliflower as well. That is awesome. Okay. Wow. See that, the that colors, the char. Looks really good. It yeah. came out well. Yeah. This is exciting. Wow. Look at that. Okay. So Super good. gentle cooking. All right. I'm just going to put it right over. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. We got the crushed tomatoes in there. We got the cauliflower. Okay. Nothing difficult. You can change the plating on this any way you want. Okay, just flatten it out so it sits. We're all like, no, oh, it's, I know. Because it's, it's so pretty. It is pretty. It's so vivid, too. It's yeah, really it's is. Amazing. It's like a little white purple. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. I'm just going to have you guys uh, plate it up however you like. You know, be creative. So we're doing this. Uh, we're doing this every night, right, guys? Mm -hmm. cool. so we're gonna be here for like six hours every day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get dinner. <laughs> Maybe ten. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Thank you everybody for doing it. It's a team effort. You know? <laughs> We've just cut up things pretty <laughs> badly. That's all. <laughs> Cauliflower seeds. Mm -hmm. I want to go cut them. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's yeah, the most important it. thing is we haven't cut ourselves. <laughs> you know what makes a meal? The company. Right? Oh. oh. Stop. <laughs> Cheers. 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 All right. All right. Um, water. Okay. <laughs> we still have cookies to make. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Nutella. What kind? Nutella, Nutella banana. banana. Marshmallow. Wait, marshmallows involved? Wait, maybe. What? Or maybe if you're nice. Oh, I like this. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so if we do dishes, can we have cookies? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's sure. Please let me take your plate. We had a great meal. I think that's definitely something we can agree on. Uh, but now it's time to make dessert, and I love cookies. So Let's what are we going to do here? All right, so we are making some banana Nutella cookies. Oh, that sounds so good. Amazing. 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 Absolutely. So yeah. what do you want me to do? We have uh, half a cup of white sugar. Okay. Half a cup of brown, light brown sugar. Half a cup of Nutella. Three one of my egg. most, four of my most favorite things. So <laughs> raw eggs, raw eggs, and just raw eggs. Eat Rocky. Yeah. So we're just gonna add that right. Okay. In. What? Look at that. Yeah, that's and right. And this is called to cream. When you add sugar and eggs, and you, when you mix it with a paddle, usually in a, uh, a mixer, it's called to cream. So we're okay. just gonna have you do. Actually, try to do it in that bowl. If it doesn't work, oh. don't do it in that okay. bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna have you take this and just chop it up. How's that working out? It's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. And if you if it does not work, then you no, just pop is, right in. Okay, good. I'm happy. All right. Okay, now. Can you all take that? Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. no. I'm just going to do, do this. Come on. Testing yep. out the, testing out yep. the, yeah. Mm. How's, how's the Nutella? Amazing. <laughs> With <Where am> that. <laughs> I'm just going to break them all up. Oh, man. Right into this. Oh. There you go. Don't make me work for it. Yeah. Mush them. <laughs> <laughs> so think? I'm going to save half the bananas and use them for a chunk, really and then half of the bananas and use them for it the creaming with it. It's good already, but it's the so now that, that is creamed. Okay. Oh, so I did a good job. You did a great job. <laughs> it's basically emulsifying the sugar and the eggs together. Okay. And then we're going to add one cup and a half of all purpose <laughs> flour. Okay, Four at this point, I'm going to add just a little it's bit of butter. Oh. Thank you. There you go. Mm. It's coming. You want me to finish it up? Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you don't mind, it okay. doesn't take me a day and a Great. third. <laughs> you just start to fold it in, and it might actually work a little better if you just try to That's fold. That's right. <laughs> yeah. you taking notes, Max? I am, mental, mental that notes. That smells so good. It does smell good. Oh my God. You actually, yeah. Yes. Oh, and also, uh, there is three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Flat out. 
all rustic like. No really. All right, so I have the oven preheated to 375. They're gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes, maybe even 12 minutes, depending on how long you keep the door open. And um, they'll be ready before you know it. You'll smell them in no time. I like what you're doing with those cookies. Yeah. They look very good. Just hope they turn out. Your style seems to be very rustic and no wasting of any food. Mm, well, trying not to. Um, you, you do the best you can and then you just, uh, you go from there and, you know, if you have a hundred, bunch of friends around, then I'm sure you wouldn't need to uh, waste anything. Whoa, you know? all right. <laughs> Hungry friends. Hungry friends. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Is it good? Yeah, it tastes like five of my favorite things. That is really good. Yeah, that is <laughs> I'm full. Yeah? Mm. That's worth it. We had a good dinner. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. uh, that would be delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you eat one, it's not really that bad, you know? No, a little butter. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Or you could just eat the Nutella strip. Yeah, yeah like which, me. which, if it wasn't you, I would have. <laughs> so this is the moment we have all been waiting for. Yeah. The cookies are done, and they look and smell amazing. Might I add? Okay, I think I know what comes next. Oh, no, 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 you go. Oh, look at that one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just. I read the middle man. Bite. No, I'm a little overwhelmed here. <laughs> I don't know where so to go. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. I'm digging that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. yeah. I feel like it was so easy to make. You could do a lot with this, too. You could throw in walnuts. Mm. Yeah. Pistachios. Mm. M&M's. Cashews. Gummy bears. Yeah, nah. Marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows. really good. With Oreo. cream on top and ice cream underneath. Make a sandwich. Make us. Yeah, we really could. Yeah. <laughs> it's been one of the best times we've ever had. We've oh, never yeah, had a party before. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. never had a party. One? Maybe part one of many, I hope, I hope. Well, I had a lot of fun. You guys have fun, too? Yeah. Awesome, Thank awesome. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, picked up the 5D, ready to go. Let's do this thing. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I'm really such a lady. I wrecked young money. You know, Slim, Baby, and we be doing donuts while we wave in the 380. We give a lot of money to the babies out in Haiti, yelling all around the world.